Well, we made it. Officially arrived at the Indiana Convention Center. First time ever being in Indianapolis and the weather is raining. A lot. Waiting for James, James Hill, uh, Mr. Bucks Nation, the one and only, to swing on by because he picked up my media credential earlier because he actually arrived before me. Oh, I see him coming. Here he is. Gotta go. trend before you follow it this is french toast the powdered sugar topping it sweet looks with all the bread and back of it back it up back it up back it up to you follow it so we're here at the hotel uh saturday afternoon about to head over to the field for the on-field workouts um and yeah, checking in. It has been a crazy couple days. Super cool experience being here. Obviously the first time I've ever been to the scouting combine. And it's just really cool to see these guys kind of up close and personal from the senior bowl to now. Just kind of go through what they're going through and hear about all the little things and talk to them about the behind the scenes stuff and, and just kind of watch the, the process unfold. Um, super unique atmosphere environment it has been crazy uh today we have the quarterbacks for the on-field workouts when we head over to the stadium um yesterday it was the dbs dbs that was cool to see um you love watching the drills and just kind of watching and learning and growing um and everything like that so it was super cool learning a lot asking a lot of questions um kind of just taking in the whole experience um <laughs> For sure. So we're going to grab some food and then we are going to head over to the stadium and watch these quarterbacks sling it. Back it up to your following. What do you call a trend before you follow it? This is French toast, the powdered sugar topping it. Sweet looks with all the bread and back of it. Back it up, back it up, back it up to your Hey, what's up, guys? So we are back at the hotel uh, later in the day now, um, Saturday night after the quarterbacks and receivers uh, and tight ends. And holy cow, what a what a day! Um, receivers going crazy it was so cool because I spent a lot of time when we went to the Senior Bowl. Um, I spent a good deal of my time at the Senior Bowl. Um, tracking receivers and um, a lot of my time kind of covering the receiver position so I had a couple prospects um, that I was really watching and I had like a lot of I guess kind of knowledge on them going in right so to kind of follow them and kind of see the growth um, you know with some of those guys um, was super cool um, and then obviously for anyone who's watching the combine at home or has a Twitter account, an out of this world performance by Richardson, obviously, and one that's definitely going to go down. I mean, he is literally in the record books, but one that will figuratively also go down in the record books. Anthony Richardson with a crazy performance, and it's so funny because every year, this obviously to be my first year being here, but every year watching the scouting combine and going through the draft process at home, I'm always like just mind boggled by these teams and these scouts and these GMs who get like blown away by players performance um, on the field in shorts and a t-shirt and then they wind up overvaluing that guy over a guy who didn't maybe perform as well in shorts and a t-shirt but was tremendous throughout the whole college football season and they wind up taking the guy with the really high ceiling um, but the much lower floor and I just never understand it. I always like, <laughs> I always like mock that person or that team. And 
it's another thing when you are just here watching it. I mean, seeing Anthony Richardson's performance today, it was not normal in the best way. Um, he looked different. He looked out of place almost amongst his peers. Um, C.J. Stroud played, you know, performed well as, as well. Everything he did was, you know, what you would expect for somebody of his ilk um, and status. But Anthony Richardson just uh, was different. Will Levis, right? Rocket arm. Definitely has a very strong arm. And, and you could see it when he throws. He was in the first group of quarterbacks. In the second group of quarterbacks, right, with Anthony Richardson, even compared to Will Levis, the ball just looks different. He drops back to throw, and the ball just soars right out of his hands. Short throws, deep throws. I mean, the deep throws were obviously the the highlight reel, you know, eye-catching ones because they just flew out of his hand and went, you know, 60-something yards in the air easily. Um, but even on some of the shorter throws and the intermediate throws, I think he only missed one throw, I want to say, um, where he just overshot a guy on the sidelines. Uh, it was an outbreaking intermediate route. But all of his other throws, he didn't fire them in there and over, you know, a lot of times guys with big arms overthrow and they throw short routes really hard and they gun them in at guys. And, and you don't need to do that. You know, you just got to get the ball there on time and give a guy a catchable pass. And obviously the other stuff, the athleticism and even throwing the backflip into the conversation is remarkable and really, really impressive. But even just watching him throw, he looks, you know, he just looks different. And that's all I can say. You know, the DBs were cool yesterday, and I'm sure the linemen and running backs will be cool tomorrow. But today was like a, a real, a bar setter for me in my mind. You know, like, I feel like I will forever remember, regardless of Anthony Richardson's career, the combine performance was incredible. Like, I feel like Clowney had an incredible combine or when Chris Johnson ran the 40, just trying to think of like super memorable combine moments. The reaction to the peop from the people in the building to his performance. Like when Anthony Richardson ran, when Anthony Richardson threw, um, when Anthony Richardson was involved in whatever was happening on the field, the reaction of the people in the room changed. It was a a noticeable, palpable change in, in the demeanor of all the people watching. Like everybody kind of sat up, everybody kind of locked in, everybody kind of focused, everybody kind of said, oh, wow. I know a lot of people were talking about the Bucks potentially getting Anthony Richardson in this year's draft. Um, and I don't think there's a chance that happens. Sorry, Bucks fans who are pulling for that. It seems unlikely. Definitely the one thing you notice about coming to an event like this, and this is obviously my first time at the combine, but doing the senior bowl too earlier, um, earlier this year you just these are you know i mean it's super fun and it's a it's a blessing to be here it's an amazing opportunity and i would never want uh you know to not be here if given the opportunity but it these are some long days you'd be waking up early and just non-stop throughout the whole day you're just if there's not you're not doing this then you're doing that and if there's one thing to if there's not one thing to do then there's another and it is just crazy like it's it's so busy and so like so one to the next to the next to the next thing and it, and it's yet the time just flies by you just go through it and all of a sudden you're like oh my gosh where did the day go um but yeah so we're gonna go to bed long day and getting up early tomorrow so um but yeah long day but a great day super fun um yeah all right check in with you guys Sweet looks with all the bread and back of it. Back it up, back it up, back it up to your following. What's up, guys? We are back here at the Scouting Combine. It is the final day of on field workouts. We've got linemen and we've got running backs. Super cool. Super exciting stuff today. Right now, the linemen are about to start running their 40s. We got some good seats, um, so we will be checking that out. Um, it's actually going to be right, right there behind me. So super fun stuff. Yeah. Last day here, definitely going to miss it uh, when we have to leave. Do you call a trend before you follow it? This is French toast, the powdered sugar topping it. Sweet looks with all the bread and back of it. Back it up, back it up. 
Alrighty, everybody. We are heading home. We're not heading home, but we're leaving the combine. Heading out. Let's say that. Got a plane to catch. Got an Uber waiting to pick me up. So I gotta hop outside. Alright, so we're outside and I can officially raise my voice. It's so weird for, um, you know, having never been to the combine. I never really realized this, but it is a quiet place. It's a big room with a lot of people, but it is like a library in there. So recording in there, I just kind of didn't really want to raise my voice too much. But now we're outside. Walk into the Uber. The conclusion of a nice little trip. A lot of hard work. Definitely tired. Fatigued for sure. Um, but it was great. What do you call a trend before you follow it? This is French toast, the powdered sugar topping it. Sweet looks with all the. Well, guys, we are back home officially. It is the next day. Happy Monday. Um, back home from the combine. What an experience. I would I want to call it a once in a lifetime experience because like the generic statement, what a once in a lifetime experience definitely applies. But at the same time, I hope and expect to be back. So technically I would be lying if I called it a once in a lifetime experience, but it had that kind of a vibe. Let's go with that. A once in a lifetime experience vibe. Um, definitely super cool. Had an amazing time. Just saw so many different people that you know, uh, a couple years ago or even a couple months ago, if you'd have told me that I was going to meet him, I'd have been very surprised. Um, really cool. Uh, never been to Indianapolis before. So just kind of getting the opportunity to see new places and, and new things is always a fun opportunity, um, of course. And, you know, it's just amazing. Obviously, some highlights, you know, um, being in traditional, true Media scrums is something I have never done before, right? But but um, when players came to uh, the podiums uh, for the media portion or the media availability portion of their days, um, yeah, there's like real media scrums. And I had never really been in a true media scrum. I've interviewed players and, um, you know, had people around me or been with other people, but not like a true media scrum. Uh, we were in some real media scrums with lots of people. And uh, so that was fun. That was cool. Definitely get, you know, get the opportunity to get loud and talk over people and say, oh no, my question is more important. Thank you. Um, so that was cool. Um, the players obviously on the fields work, uh, on the field for the on field workouts. Amazing. Watching the forties and, and watching the positional drills and seeing all the stuff I've seen on TV since I was a child in person and seeing kind of the other side of it was such a unique, I couldn't even really put words to it other than that. Just a unique opportunity and experience that, um, you know, it's it's surreal to be a part of. Um, Anthony Richardson's Pro Day, I talked about a little bit in earlier in this video, and that was last night at the hotel, um, or two nights ago at the hotel? I don't even know. Two nights ago at the hotel. Yeah, two nights ago at the hotel. Um, that was on, did I say Anthony Richardson's Pro Day? I think I did. Anthony Richardson's Combine Performance. That was just stupid amazing to watch um, and just wow. I mean, he lit it up. He's obviously the star of this year's combine, took over that whole day. Um, lots of, excuse me, lots of prospects showed up and showed out, but Anthony Richardson showed up and showed out. He looked incredible um, and definitely talk about guys elevating themselves and their draft stock and helping themselves out. Yeah, Anthony Richardson uh, helped himself out. In a big way. I would say he went from being top 20, top 25 to top 10, maybe even like top seven, I would say. So he really helped himself out quite a bit. And that was really cool to see. I just, you know, being in the room when it happened and watching everybody be captivated simultaneously and somewhat in awe of what this man was doing on the field was really cool. A um, bunch of other guys. I mean, I could I could list a long list of people who really stood out. Um, I definitely will be continually posting and have already posted articles on BucksNation.com, Will.Walsh on BucksNation.com. Um, and you can check out some of my combine coverage there in terms of written reports and things that I thought stood out or found interesting or 
just any little tidbit that I picked up on that I felt like I could write about it, and I will be continuing to write stuff there um, as we go forward, so definitely check that out. Um, yeah, just want to, I guess, in recap, that's really all I have to say. I mean, just an, an, an incredible... An incredible couple of days. Couldn't ask for too much more. Very appreciative of the opportunity. And I guess while I'm here, thank you to Bucks Nation and Mr. Bucks Nation um, for just presenting me with that opportunity. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys had a great time watching. Be sure to do me a favor and yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button so we can lock in and connect on some future content because I feel like the content is just going to keep on spewing out of me as if I was a sponge that you just kept squeezing and soap and water just keep coming out. So the more you squeeze the sponge, the more that soap and water come out, which means if we take that and translate it over, that analogy would mean the more you subscribe and engage, the more I guess I continue to produce content. So that made some sense, maybe no sense. If you didn't get it, that's okay. I'm sure you're not alone. If you did get it, awesome. I'm glad you and I are like this. But definitely subscribe, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Like I have a lot to say and I won't get bored of talking about it because it was really, really cool and it's very fresh in my mind. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. And you have yourself a good day.